Good evening. Thank you for joining us for Local 5 News at 10. I'm Tom Zalaski. Michelle McCormack is off tonight. We begin tonight with new developments in a Local 5 investigation on nitrous oxide now being acted upon by the Green Bay Common Council. Here is Local 5's Timothy Leto with where a proposed ordinance to ban the dangerous chemical goes from here. It's a day that Adam Brosho has been waiting for. This is really awesome that it's, it's coming into place here that the voices of, of, of the people are getting heard. The Green Bay Common Council will vote on whether to have an ordinance drafted by the law department to ban the sale of nitrous oxide, something that Brosho's colleagues and residents at his drug recovery house know all too well. It's bad news. It's hurting people. People are, they say that they're having it there for the cooking purposes. I don't see no baker going to a head shop to buy nitrous oxide for cooking. Drug addiction affects all facets of our society, you know, if, even if it's not you specifically that is battling with that. The Common Council voted unanimously to pass the motion onto the Law Department, which will draft the ordinance and then send it back to the Common Council to be voted on. It's great. I mean, we had unanimous support for it, so, and I was fully expecting that, so I'm really glad that that is actually what happened. As long as we can find that balance so the people who do legitimately use this product for their business can still get a hold of it while also just keeping it out of the hands of people who will misuse it. Should the ordinance pass, smoke shop owner Defala Ahmed says that it won't hurt his business, just his customers legitimately using it for culinary reasons. They do. I mean, it's not hurting me so much, and it's not something that I, I'm going to have to break my back for over. Anything we can control and contribute to helping this problem, we would be silly to ignore it. It's one crack in the law that allows the flow of drug addiction to continue. But soon, that crack might be sealed. In Green Bay, Timothy Leto, Local 5 News. Thank you, Tim. Now, that ordinance could take a couple of months to pass, but the older persons co-sponsoring it say they'll continue to remind the law department of the importance of getting it done in a timely manner.